everybody, I'm Eve the Mouse, and today we're playing some Minecraft! I've just woken up in the morning and it's beautiful outside! This is my place, you guys might be familiar with it, this is my bed, it's so soft and... Oh, hey, I don't remember leaving a book out last night, I like to put all of my things away in my many bookshelves of many beautiful books! But I, I don't remember leaving this out! Huh, hey chicken! Are you a brave adventurer or are you a scared little mouse? Who who wrote this? That's really rude. That's a really rude way to start a book. Think you can handle my scavenger hunt, Pipsqueak? Oh, well, I, I do like scavenger hunts, but why would he call me a Pipsqueak? If you're not a chicken, then head over to the train station to start my little adventure. Huh. All right, well, I'm going to take this with me. Oh man, I must have slept later than I thought. It's already getting dark out. Well, I guess I'm going on some sort of scavenger hunt. I, I I should take some stuff with me. Let's see, a diamond chest plate, always a good time. Potion of healing, we'll throw that in there too. And some mutton for the road. Let's see, I know I have some other stuff over here. Let's take the iron sword and we'll do the iron rest of everything else just to match. And, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of bows and arrows, but we'll take them just to be safe. So, let's see. Let's get dressed. We've got some pants, some shoes, a chest plate. There we go. And hat. Oh, man, I look so spiffy. Okay, so let's move along to the train station. Hopefully we don't see any sort of monsters outside like zombies. But I like to keep the town pretty safe. Okay, shut the door, because I'm a good guy. And, oh, wow, it's beautiful out tonight. The clock tower shining in the moonlight. And, oh, the town looks so nice and safe, even in the dark. Oh, yeah, and my little cupcake building. It's been so fun living here. It's one of my favorite places in all of the things that I've built here in Minecraft. Oh, man. But, yeah, okay, got to stay focused. Eep, we're on the hunt. I don't know what for or who's sending us on it, but they're kind of rude, but I'm always up for an adventure. All right, oh, another book. Okay, let's see what it says. Hmm. Hey, scaredy cat. Oh, I'm not scared or a cat. I've got a bunch of places for you to go to on this adventure. It isn't going to be easy. Let's see if you're smart enough to figure out where you have to go. Question one, what kind of job requires a shovel? A hoe and shears. Hmm. A shovel, hoe, and shears. Okay, okay, we'll think about it. Question two. What kind of job would require a lot of seeds? Oh, a job with seeds, shovel, hoe, shears. Well, it sounds like it could be a farmer. Cause cause farmers use shovels to and, and hoes to, to till the land in order to plant seeds. Okay, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Question three. Where does food come from? A farm, okay, okay. This is all kind of lining up and question four says, where would you want to sing E-I-E-I-O? Oh, Old MacDonald's farm! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Where would you be able to find grain? Well, definitely on a farm. So let's start there. Let's head to Old MacDonald's farm. So we've got both those books and the train station. Oh, this place is beautiful. I'm really glad I made it with gold. It just makes it look so luxurious and, and fancy. Okay, so we've got track two to Old McDonald's Farm or Pyramid City. Oh man, I haven't been to Pyramid City in a while, but we're gonna head to Old McDonald's Farm. That's where this, this book guy seems to want us to go. So we'll take a mine cart and head on out. All right, now sometimes I miss getting on the cart in time, so I gotta focus. All right, we got the mine cart and bam! Oh, of course, the, when I say it, it doesn't happen. But here we go! On the train to Old McDonald's Farm! Goodbye, Clock Tower! Oh, wow, looks so beautiful! And we're going under the Clock Tower! And by everyone else's houses! And the fountain, and that's my house! Oh, man, but I love taking the train. It's so much fun and so much better than walking this whole way. I've built this map, and it's taken me forever to walk from one thing to another. So building this train track was a really smart idea, and I'm glad I did it. It was worth all the effort. 
and it's super cool getting to go under things and look all these trees I put up they're just so cute it's something to look at instead of just sitting here doing nothing I could read a book but these these books seem kind of rude and whoever wrote them seems like they they have something planned I don't know what but uh, I don't think I need to read them again <gasps> Here we are at London Bridge! Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh man, this took forever to build, but it looks so nice. Look at it in the dark. Wow, all those pretty colors. I figured I'd add things as a rainbow, cause who doesn't love rainbows with all those pretty colors? Oh man, and, and maybe one day we'll start having some cars be able to go on these roads too. It's just so much fun. You can see the beautiful night sky out. Oh, it's so relaxing. And oh, here's the other side of the bridge. Man, it's so cool. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can climb all the way to the top and see the whole bridge from up there too. Whoa, okay, we're heading down. This is, we're getting close to our stop, everybody. All right, let's see where we are. Oh, an Enderman, don't look at it. Oh boy. Huh. Oh, and a zombie's out. We gotta be careful. Don't get too close, Mr. Zombie. I'll get ya. All right, we're at the train station, though. That was an easy ride. Oh, man, but there's a bunch of skeletons around. Okay, let's be quick. So, this is Old McDonald's Farmhouse, but we're gonna head in and maybe take some shelter inside real quick with all these, these monsters out, with it being nighttime and all. So, let's see the garden. It's beautiful. All right, old McDonald's house. He's got the biggest house I've ever seen. It's even bigger than mine. All right, so I'm gonna head upstairs real quick and see if I, oops, can take a nap in one of his spare bedrooms. All right, oh, nope, this is the TV room. Oh, look at that. Oh, but it's got a little nap bed over here. We're gonna take a quick rest just to make sure that if any zombies come out while I'm exploring the farm, that I don't, I don't wake up back in the city. That would be rough. All right, so we're good to go. And I'm gonna head downstairs. So if I remember right, it was talking about hoes and seeds and shovels. So I, I don't think any of that's gonna be in old McDonald's house. But oh man, I love taking naps and it's a beautiful morning out. So it's probably out by his barn and his field. Oh man, so this is the field, the vegetable patch. Well, these seeds have all already sprouted, so I don't think that's what the book was referencing. And the barn doesn't have any seeds in it. It's only got a bunch of animals. Like, look, look at these donkeys here. Hi, friends. Oh, they're so cute. They're pals. So I think the best place to look would be, oh, and horses. So in the back of the barn, I know that old McDonald, oh, Moo, hi, Mr. Cow, I'm just visiting. Maybe I'll come and play with you later, but I'm here for the silo. So I know that this is where old McDonald puts all of his seeds for, for his big field we just saw and all of his vegetables. So let's check out, see, see if we can find anything in here. Oh man, look how tall it is, guys. Not that many seeds in here. Well, I guess old McDonald just did have planting season. So let's, let's head up and see if there's something at the top. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of stairs. And I'm wondering who this mysterious writer is with all these books. But let's see. Whoa, 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 oh, a zombie! Get out of here, Mr. Zombie! Where did he come from? It's like he came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him. Oh my goodness. Is that a trap? Oh, it's got a pressure plate and everything. I must have stepped on it and didn't even notice. All right, guys, we're gonna have to be a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh no, I spoke too soon. Get out of here, Mr. Zombie. Get out of here. Oh, don't come too close. Oh boy, man. Okay, I'm gonna go up these stairs a little bit slower. Look out for any oh, a pressure plate. Okay, let's see if I can jump over it. And huh. oh man, I was so close, guys. These are really tight quarters to, to jump around in. Oh, whew. man, that zombie was crazy. 
Oh, okay, another one. Let's see if we can do it this time. I don't know, but we're gonna try. Oh, yeah, we jumped over it. Awesome. Oh, and look, the book's right there, but there's also some pressure plates. Can I read it from all the way over here? Yes, I can. Oh, wow. He can defeat five zombies. Well, I, I don't think I beat five because I managed not to step on your pressure plates. How strong he must be. Ha, ha, ha. That's kind of mean. I don't think he meant that. That was nothing. You ready for your next location? Question one. Which city owns the most air conditioners? What? Qu question two. Which city has a knight guarding the bank of its river? Oh, a knight. I remember building a knight. That was in... I built a really big one in Pyramid City. With, oh, and that's in the desert where it's so hot. That makes the air conditioners make so much more sense. Okay, okay. Question three. Where do bats love to appear? In the dark. At nighttime. Yeah, at nighttime. So, we have to go there at nighttime, maybe? Question four. Where would you find iron and ore diamonds? Well, in Pyramid City, I know there are diamonds a lot of places. I built with a lot, but iron ore, I don't, I don't build with just ore usually. But to find both of those, I have to go into a mine usually to find them. Huh. I think I'm going to go to Pyramid City and figure out what's there. But... Thanks so much for playing with me this time, guys. I had so much fun. Come back next time to see what I can find in Pyramid City. Bye.